Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this everyday minimal makeup look. If you are looking for something quick, simple, and easy, or you don't have a lot of time to do a full face of makeup with a lot of products, or if you don't even feel like putting on makeup, you know those days where you just want to get up, get ready, get out the door, or you're running late and you just don't have a lot of time to put on makeup. But you know doing so is going to make you feel so much better about yourself. Then this video is for you. If you are a beginner and you're just getting started or want to just get started using some makeup but you want to go very minimalistic, then this video is also for you. Skin care is going to be your best friend for a flawless makeup look and especially for a minimal makeup look. It really is the most important step in your makeup application. If you want your makeup to look amazing, take good care of your skin. I have already done my morning skincare routine, but it's been a little while. So I'm going to give my under eyes a little pick-me-up with this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. Your under eyes will get very, very dry and they need a lot of hydration, or at least mine do. I'm going to take this little brush. This is a Luxie 211 concealer brush and use it to get down in this jar because I don't want to stick my finger down in that. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that lotion on my brush and I'm going to paint it on my under eye. I'm also going to go up on my lid because my lids will get very very dry and I will finish that by tapping it in with my finger but I'm just going to let that sit and let it soak up while I work on the other side. Now in the morning sometimes when I am rushing, which happens a lot because I'm not much of a morning person, this is what I will do before I put my makeup on because I want to make sure that my eyes are hydrated so I will use an eye cream and then I will put on a moisturizer to moisturize the rest of my face if that's all that I have time to do but those two things if you're trying to be in a hurry get out the door and minimalist those two steps are very important they really do help your makeup go on smoothly and you can see that even though I have lots of lines under my eyes, that really helped plump that area up and make it look better. Now I have a little bit left on my brush. I'm just going to brush it. I get dry right around my nose, so I don't want to waste that product. And I'm going to put it around my, my mouth. Just use up what's left in the brush. Next, I'm going to go in with this Chock Chock Green Tea Watery Lotion. This is from Tony Moly, which is a Korean beauty brand. And I always do two pumps in my hand. And then just rub that in and I will take it down my neck. That watery lotion is really good for my skin because, especially in the summertime, if I use too heavy of a moisturizer, it causes me to have melia, and this does not do this. I love this. That's how much I have been using. I have this in a panning project and I can't tell you how many bottles of this that I have used. The other thing that I will do now is to moisturize my lips. They're feeling a little dry. I 
And so I like to go ahead and put my just a balm. This happens to be Keys Soul Care. This is Lucid. It's just a clear balm. So if you're in a hurry, in my opinion, those are the two most important steps. A moisturizer for your face and moisturize your under eyes. You need to keep your skin hydrated and it also acts as a barrier between your skin and the makeup products that you're going to be putting on it. 95% of the time my skincare for me acts as my face primer. I do not use a face primer every time I put on my makeup. I just let my skincare be my makeup primer. Now I'm going to be using a tinted SPF in lieu of a foundation. This will give you just enough coverage to even out your skin and also give you a little bit of a glow. Put it here on the back of my hand. This is the Elta MD Skincare Broad Spectrum SPF 44. I don't believe that it has a shade necessarily. I think I'm just lucky that it is the right shade for my skin tone and I'm just going to rub that in see how it just kind of lightly evens out my skin tone I am lucky that I don't have a lot of need for a lot of evening out of the skin tone. I find that this does a really nice job. And then I'll take the last of it and put it on my forehead. This way I'm getting a little tint, but I am also getting some sun protection as well. But you see that I also have that nice little bit of glow as well. I don't often use a concealer, but for the purpose of this video, I am going to use a concealer. I do have a little bit of redness here on the insides of my eyes. I like to use a very light, almost skincare like concealer, and that is what this House Labs concealer is like for me. It has skincare properties in it. And I am just going to use a very little bit and I am going to blend that out with my finger because it just helps to warm that product up and help it meld into my skin. See that is just enough to take care of that little bit of redness that I had. I'm also going to put a little bit of that on my eyelids. They will tell you not to do this, to use this as a, an eye primer. And I don't know whether I will put on eyeshadow or not, but you can see that I do have some discoloration on my eyelids. So I do want to use something to even that out. I like the way it makes my eyes look. It's a nice blank canvas and I'm going to get just a little bit of that in the corners because I do have a little bit of darkness there. See the difference that that makes? And I take that all the way up to my brows and that just gives me a nice blank canvas should I decide that I want to put on some eyeshadow or it looks nice just like that. I am going to take just a little bit of powder and powder down what I have put on so far to kind of set it and for that I'm going to use this CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring powder. This is a wonderful powder. As you can see, I use it all the time. 
and I'm just going to get a little bit in my brush and just pat and swirl and I'm going to take that right up under my eye and I'm also going to use it to set the concealer that I placed on my eyes to keep that from creasing and then on my forehead and as you can see that just kind of helped to even everything out just a little bit more but I still don't look like I have a lot of makeup on. For a minimal look I'm going to use a very soft kind of light bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow in light medium and I'm going to get that on my brush just to add a little bit of sun-kissed goodness to my face but very soft and I also like to take that across my cheeks because that's where the sun hits you and on the bridge of my nose and then we'll do a little bit here on the high points of my forehead. It just makes your skin look sun-kissed and healthy. And then with whatever's left, just going to go under my chin. For a blush, I am going to use this Nude Sticks. It is a gel color lip cheek balm. So you can use it on your cheeks and on your lips. And this is in the shade Posh. It's a very pretty soft color. And I'm just going to place a little bit because I just want a soft little bit of sheer blush color on my cheeks. It just gives you just the right amount of color. And it also has just a little bit of a sheen to it. So now I'm going to use my favorite brow product, which is the Oma by Sharon C. One and Done, Two and One Brow Styler. I love this. I don't know that they're making this anymore. It's kind of hard to find. Sometimes the end of that will get a little clumpy, so I just kind of run it on the back of my hand to get the clumps out of it. And then just brush it through. It is a quick, easy way to do your brows. And especially when, as we get older, our brows will turn gray or white depending. See how quick and easy that was? And this will tint those brow hairs that have turned a different color so that you can see them. And that's how easy it was to do my brows. They are done. Some days I may not necessarily use a setting spray, but I like to use some type of mist. This is a Dragon's Blood Essence Mist. It's just very lightweight, so if your skin is looking a little powdery, this has a super fine mister on it. It's just enough to kind of melt all of that into the skin and get rid of that powdery look. The other thing that's great about this, if you're not using a setting spray, is you can throw it in your purse. You can take it with you so while you're at work or you're out running around and you feel like you need a little refresh, you can just mist your face again. And it kind of brings everything back to life. But look at how fine the sprayer is. So nice and it smells wonderful. I love this product. 
And then of course we can throw on some mascara. This is Prime Lash. It is a lengthening and volumizing mascara. This is a pro-aging mascara for mature women. I love that, that they are pro-aging. It has a unique wand on it that is meant to find all of those little tiny eyelashes and help them to stand up and thicken and lengthen and it also has a formula that encourages natural growth. It is pH balanced and all natural and Prime Lash gifted this product to me which was very nice of them so that I could try it out. It is a tubing mascara. This is what the wand looks like. And I like that the wand is not really big because I have short lashes and small eyes. So if the wand is too big, it just causes problems. My lashes look like they're non-existent. And this mascara does give them length and volume. That's just one coat. I always have a problem getting mascara on my lower lash on this eye. I don't have that problem with this wand. And I do have hooded eyes, droopy eyelids, so sometimes I have to pull my lid up to get my mascara on, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. There ain't no shame in my game. That shows my age, doesn't it? So there's one coat. I will let that dry for a minute and then we will put on another coat and see what that looks like. Now if you do happen to get a little bit of mascara on your lid, you can just take a spoolie. After it dries, you have to let it dry and just brush it away. You can also just take a Q-tip and the Q-tip, a dry Q-tip we'll also just brush that away. All right, let's try another coat. Okay, that's coat number two. You can see a difference between the two. Oh, I got a big old glob that time. That's perfect, I can show y'all how easy it is. To get that off and that's exactly why I will just pull my eye up so that I don't get it on my skin but it's easy to get off even if you have eyeshadow on it is still easy to get that off so that's two coats and we will let that dry and then I'll show you how to get that off. While that's drying, I'm going to go back into my nude stick, the Posh nude stick, and I'm going to use this as my lip color. Very pretty. Very hydrating. I really do like that. And it's not sticky at all. Okay, so this is dry. So I'm just going to take my spoolie and brush that away. And I see I have a little bit on my lid. I'm going to do the same thing. Super simple. And it fell down on my cheek. Just take your brush and brush it away. And so now, as you can see, just the eyebrows and the mascara 
makes a dramatic difference in your look. And with everything else, I'm looking healthy and sun-kissed and ready to go out into the world. This is the perfect minimal makeup look. So now, do you want to up it a little bit more? If you have a little bit more time and you would like to do something with your eyes, let me show you how you could go about doing that. Now, because I have already primed my eyes with my concealer to give me a blank canvas, all I have to do is put something on them. And there's a couple of things that you can do. You can absolutely use the makeup that you're already using. You can use your bronzer. You can use lip and cheek product if you want to do that. I am going to use some of my bronzer, but you can also use just a bronzing or face type palette if that's what you have. You can do an all nude, natural look. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. I love this NYX palette. I used this for my makeup, for my eyes, for the longest time. It is the perfect palette to use to create a beautiful natural eye look. Very cool tone, but I love cool tone browns. So I'm going to start with that and just use that in my transition area. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and just put a little bit of color in my transition area. We're not going to do anything crazy, just a little bit. Just enough to give your eye a little something something. Now I'm going to take this brush that I normally use to set my eye primer. It has nothing on it and I'm just going to make sure that that is well blended. Just like that. Do you see the difference already with just a little bit of a contour shade? That's not even eyeshadow, that is a contour shade. So now I'm going to take another fluffy brush and I'm going to go into my bronzer that I put on my cheeks. And I'm going to put that on my lid. See how nice and soft and natural that looks. Now, I could use the highlighter from out of this palette or I can use the highlighter from out of this palette just to put a little something on the inner part of my lid to kind of lighten that area up. So I'm going to go into the NYX palette and take that highlighter. And I'm going to put just a little bit on my lid and in the corner. Do you see what a huge difference that makes? And this takes no time to do this. I mean, you could even put your, as I did, <laughs> put your mascara on, clean it all up so that you're not getting mascara on your eyes. And there you go. Now, let's take it up just a little bit more because I would do this even if I'm in a hurry and put a little bit of that under my brow because I like for that area to be a little bit lighter, even though they will tell you not to do that. I don't typically listen. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the tip of my nose. And there we go. I'm done. I'm ready to run out the door. 
and I don't look super made up. I don't look like I, I'm cakey. I look natural. And I'm ready to take on my day. So now, do you need all of these products? Do you need a tinted SPF? Do you need to put the bronzer on, the blush, do the brows? No, you don't need any of these products. You can absolutely run out the door without a thing on your face. I do that quite frequently. I don't go to work like that. If I need to go to the grocery store, I may not put on any makeup at all. But it does make me feel better to put something on my face. You don't need all of these products. Just put on your face the things that make you feel good about yourself. Now, if you've been with me for a little while, you know I'm not a big hair person. But I'm going to do just a little something something with my hair and I'll be right back. And so here we have the final look with my hair somewhat done, which was also done very quickly with just a little bit of texture spray. So what do you think? How did I do? Did I use too many products? Did I use not enough products? Tell me down in the comments what products would you use for a minimal makeup look, an everyday look. I quite often will do this when I'm running late to work. It's just enough to make me feel good about myself and not be too overdone. If y'all are still here, hey howdy, hey y'all, my name is Leanna. I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you would show that like button some love. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Okay. Love you. Bye.